Nina, first of all, congratulations on being elected ICA president. Um, why do you think people chose you um, above the other two also excellent candidates? The feedback that I've received from members is that they thought that the presentation was very passionate. Um, and maybe also it's the cheeky comment at the end that I threw in about the iconic Nelson Mandela having gone to Robben Island, coming back a president, and my wish having come here to Antalya, going back a president, the ICA president. So I think maybe that might have thrown it my way. Yeah, it was a great moment, that actually. Um, you've got your term ahead of you. Um, what are you hoping? I'm hoping, well, I'm looking forward to working with the new ECHA board. There are a number of new members that have been elected to the ECHA board. Uh, and I think that membership is looking for some change. And I'm hoping to work with the ECHA board to bring about that change that our members are looking for. Keeping the good things that ECHA has and improving wherever we can and moving with the times. Now, you're from South Africa. Um, you have a, you know, a whole continent on your doorstep. You're the gateway to that continent. Um, what do you think um, being ICA president is going to mean for South Africa and Africa overall? I think really positively, um, most recently on the ICA board, there's a de designated seat for Africa and the Middle East. And I think that recognition um, immediately elevates the status, realizing that Africa's got such potential. We are a developing nation. So I'm really delighted to represent that and actually bring about more business um, to our continent, create bra uh, jobs, look at poverty alleviation. I think that's really, really positive for ICA. So I'm delighted to be the leader to represent ICA and the continent. I think it's really exciting. Um, I think you make a fantastic president of ICA and I wish you all the good luck and the ICA world is watching. Thank you so much.